Good morning. It's a happy Friday morning. And we're going to get this weekend started. I'm not going to talk long for day, today. For today. Um, I think that um, I've done a lot of studying. And um, today we're going to just relax and take it easy. Uh, there's a Japanese phrase. Well, first off, as I was sitting in my thinking chair, thinking about what I was thinking about, mm -mm -mm. Uh, I was thinking, Lord, I need to unplug. I need to uh, reconnect with you, okay? Because, like I said, I, I'm I, right now I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. My body is being broken down, so I need to piece it back together. And what better way to piece it back together is by spending time with the one who created it. So that's what I was thinking about. <clears throat> and this phrase came up uh, as I was reading in um, Kintsugi, a phrase came up, it was called, uh, I mean, she said, she said it invertedly. She said, Ichi no Sintaku Kokoro no Kokoro, Kokoro no tried it again. <laughs> Inochi no Sintaku. Kokoro no Sintaku. And she said it that way. Then she said, wash your heart, wash your life, which is kind of backwards. It's Kokoro no Sintaku. Ichi no Sintaku. That's why I named it this. And <clears throat> break it down. Kokoro is heart. And sentako means to wash or clean. And inochi, uh, a phrase of that is, is life. So she said, wash your heart <clears throat> and wash your life. And I looked it up. I was like, that's interesting. I looked it up. And usually the, the latter phrase part of it, uh, the ichi no sentaku, um, that's usually put off by itself. And when it's by itself, it usually, it, it, it's, it's known as wash off the dust of life. <clears throat> now, living life can, um, can, can cause you to feel dirty. Um, do, doing day-to-day -day tasks, things that we wanna do, some, some things that we don't wanna do, people that we interact with, just like, uh, you got so many negative things around you and you're such a positive light, right? But there's so much darkness around and so much, so many things that's trying to cover you and trying to get on you and trying to attach itself to you and trying to take over. Morning, Clayton. So, so many things try to get on you and get, you know, attach itself to you while you're trying to live your life in a good way, right? So, washing off the 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 um, the dust of life causes you. If you want to do this now, what you got to do is first wash your heart. And as you wash your heart, guess what happens? You start to wash off your life. <clears throat> so let's look at that. So. I wrote down every now and then you need to wash it all off. A sabbatical from it all. A sabbatical. And that doesn't that sound good? You know, taking a Sabbath. Uh, you know, I call my tub. I have a garden tub, and that's my aunt's. And I, I fill it up with as hot as it can get. Let it rest for a second, and then get in and just melt. So, and. That's one way I try to reconnect, you know. I try to get away, you know, shut out the outside world. Relax, meditate, think, connect with God. <clears throat> uh, another thing that we need to do is be unplugged, okay? Get off the grid. Uh, so many things are, so many cloudy things just like get on us when we're constantly bombarding our own selves our you know everything that we put before our eyes or into these ears or into a mouth can um, 
ultimately contaminate the soul, okay, uh, if you're not careful. But if you're careful, it can boost it. It can um, really, like, take it to the next level. <laughs> Unplug. So disconnecting from the world and um, plugging into things that really matter, the, the things that's going to sustain you, the things that's going to matter, okay? These are some of these things that I want you to, this is what Friday is all about. I mean, take Friday, take Saturday, take Sunday, you know, find a place, find some time, if not five minutes, maybe an hour, maybe the whole day, maybe the whole week, but find time to reconnect your relationships. And that's vertical relationships, you and God, and horizontal with like the family, your friends, or people you don't even know, or people that you've disconnected from, reconnect. That sustains you. Um, reconnect with uh, your mind. <clears throat> Take time to actually let your mind wander. A lot of times we don't, uh, Earl Nightingale, who you know I, I studied under for a while, they, he had a time where he would just not do anything. He had a uh, five to, two, well, it had grown to like an hour, but he started off like two to five minutes of not doing anything. He just sit there and let his mind wander. And when you do that, when you find yourself having time to actually think, you come up with solutions to the problems that's being that's coming up either right then and there or that's going to come. And you have hindsight too where you can look at the things that man, I really messed that up. I could have did this a lot better. So if you see somebody else coming that way, guess what? You can help them in that way. True that. Philippians 4.8, that's right. <laughs> so, uh, actually, take time. One of your sustainable things that's going to sustain your life is your motives. Take time to look at your motives. <clears throat> what are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's what, or what are you trying to do? And what really sat me down when I got started into Ikigai and um, Kintsugi and Wasabi, Wabi Sabi, when I got into these things, what I was noticing, Lord, I'm, I'm running, I'm doing all these things for you. And he's like, really? Really? What are you doing for me? It's like, uh, I'm trying to do these things. I want to be big. I want to make it big. I want to do some great things. I want to change people's lives. But as I was noticing, or what he was showing me is that all of these things that I'm running for, I'm leaving all these things behind me. That's just like, you know, hey, I'm here. Uh, you, you just left us. And I need to slow down, unplug, wind down, and actually spend time. What we don't, well, you know, when we get into the Bible, we, we crack it open and he's like, ooh, that's some good nuggets right there. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. Close it, put it up, and until next time. <clears throat> when it's there, it's good to get the nuggets, but you know, actually take into context what you reading. You know, somebody tell me, ooh, somebody told me this good thing right here. Man, uh, it said this. But when you read before it and you read after it, it had nothing to do with what you were thinking that actually it was about. You just got cherry picked. <laughs> so take time. Take time, slow down, and look into your life and ask yourself this, does it really matter? In the big picture of things, if I'm trying to make 
$5 million off this one sale, if I don't make it, does it matter? Is anything gonna change? Will my life change? Take these things into consideration. And, 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 and <clears throat> as I was saying, icky guy, you're icky guy. How are you living out your purpose? So take time, reconnect with God. And how are you living your life? How are you living your how you living? How are you living out your purpose? Don't over spiritualize it. I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta preach. Do you? Because someone said that you know preach at all times, but use words as if necessary. Living out your life. That's your icky guy. Your meaning, your purpose. Okay? So uh let's relax. Take time, talk to yourself, re-energize, uh, wash your heart, wash your life. Kokoro no sintaku, inochi no sintaku. All right? It has really been an Ichigo Ichie. And I always love spending time with you. So let's do this again soon. All right? Fist bump. Boom! Boom!